breaking Rosie is freaking out after she gets her life ruined. Look who she is attacking now. Michael Cantrell America's Freedom Fighters Dash We all know by now that Hollywood is a steaming cesspool of liberal lunacy with the vast majority of directors, actors, and producers serving as the propaganda wing of the progressive movement, believing they are somehow daring crusaders for truth, justice, and the socialist way. In reality, most celebrities who are politically active are just annoying blabbermouths who parrot classic liberal talking points so they can pass as informed folk and win SJW points from their rabid left-wing fan base in hopes of maintaining relevancy and keeping their jobs much longer than they ought. One such celebrity nut job is Rosie O'Donnell, a woman who routinely loses her mind on social media over whatever is the Trump political story of the day and often gets verbally violent toward conservatives and other people who don't tend to see things her way. Rosie recently put Paul Ryan in her Twitter crosshairs, telling the Speaker of the House to go to hell. Here's more from Fox News. The fierce opponent of President Trump and the newly passed GOP tax plan lashed out at Ryan on Twitter. Paul Ryan. Don't talk about Jesus after what you just did to our nation, you will go straight to hell, O'Donnell wrote Monday. You screwed up fake altar boy, O'Donnell added. She finished her holiday attack with the hashtag, hash Judas much in a reference to the disciple who betrayed Jesus. The actress, who has famously tussled with Trump, last week offered to pay two senators $2 million each to vote against the tax bill. Her bribe to sends Jeff Flake and Susan Collins didn't work and no GOP senator voted against Trump's signature legislative achievement. So what exactly crawled up O'Donnell's pant leg enough to make her so dang irritable and cranky? Apparently, and anyone who despises Hillary Clinton will get a kick out of this. It was all because of a video. Speaker Ryan posted a Christmas video Saturday morning designed to honor the birth of Jesus Christ, you know, not all that uncommon to hear from a professing believer in Jesus this time of year. However, it must be noted that Ryan wasn't the only target for Rosie as of late. She also harassed conservative powerhouse Ben Shapiro, tweeting this wonderful little gem in his direction, Suck my dick Ben. Initially, Shapiro decided to report the tweet just to see if Twitter would equally enforce their rules and sanction a liberal for being nasty, which they didn't. However, later on, they changed their minds. Rosie is a typical liberal hack clawing desperately to stay in the public eye, using Twitter and other social media outlets as a means for getting noticed and maybe, hopefully, get her career resurrected from the dead. Fortunately for the world at large, it doesn't look like this is going to happen. Guess we ought to thank God for small miracles, eh? Regardless, it's unlikely Shapiro and Ryan really care what some has been, washed up actress has to say about them personally or their political beliefs, so once again, O'Donnell is only polluting the Earth's atmosphere with her wasted hot air.